In this video, we will show you how to connect to the Wi-Fi. Okay? So your laptop solves it this way. Okay? Um, we saw in previous videos that the internet connection was layered or had a stack. Okay? So on your laptop, this is implemented with a few hardware layers. Uh, we have a layer that implements the Wi-Fi and then built on top of these hardware layers are software layers. Uh, these software layers, one at a time, build up the ability to connect to the Internet. The trouble with embedded systems is an embedded system doesn't have the processing power, the number of cycles per second, nor the memory needed to implement the internet stack. So in order to solve this problem, we're going to push some of these hardware, software layers into firmware. So this is how we're going to solve it using our launch pad. Our launch pad, as you know, is a TM4C123. And on top of that, we're going to use a CC3100 booster pack, uh, shown right here. Okay? So the CC3100 uh, uh, implements a number of these internet stack layers in firmware. Firmware is a, is a dedicated hardware uh, that allows for the solution of these complex layers. So the TCP IP layer is done uh, in firmware. And that will free up the microcontroller such that the user application will run in, a, in its usual way and then interface through a set of driver functions. And so whenever you see the letters SL, uh, you're going to see that that is a simple link uh, driver. And the connection between the booster pack here and the launch pad is just through a couple of pins, just through a couple of pins uh, using a UART. So in summary, the hardware connections that we will have to implement the labs is we'll need an access point. I use my phone, but any access point that you uh, can connect to will be fine. And then we added the CC3100 booster pack on top of our launch pad. And so we're going to write software that runs on our uh, launch pad that interfaces with the firmware here in this chip that implements the Wi-Fi, the internet stack.